Let's say you made a studio tutorial on making a GUI. Question. How do I close This it? is a really good video, Are but you can you make it clear that when you are the question. So there are many ways to open and close your GUI. The one I'll show you first cannot be more simple. Insert a button into the screen GUI, the same one that holds your frame, and then insert a local script into it. This line creates a variable for the frame we want to open and close. This is a function that runs after the button, to which the script is parented, is clicked. Lastly, the script switches the frame's visibility variable toggle, which is how we can get it to open and close the GUI. And as you can see, it works great, just like it's supposed to. Next up, we'll use one button to open the GUI and another one to close it. Insert a button into the screen GUI and a local script into it, just like in the previous example. The script is almost identical, with the only difference being here, where it simply makes the frame visible. Now, add a button to your frame, customize it as you wish, and insert another local script into it. Again, the script is nearly identical to the previous one, but makes the frame invisible. For both of these examples, it works well if the buttons and frames are parented to the same screen GUI. But what if they aren't? Create your new screen GUI, then insert a button and a local script into it. First there are variables for the player, its GUI, and lastly the screen GUI with the frame we want to open. The script detects when a player presses the button, to which the script is parented, and makes the frame visible. And now it should work. Up next, clicking a keyboard key to open and close the GUI, insert a local script into your frame, then write this. We first create variables for user input service and the frame. This line detects an input from the player and starts a function. The next line filters the input to a certain key, such as Q, and makes sure the player is not interacting with core Roblox UI, like the chat. Lastly, it switches the frame's visibility variable. Very simple and works great. Lastly, we can use objects in the 3D world to open our GUI this includes a proximity prompt, click detector, and touching a part. Start by inserting a part into the workspace, then either a proximity prompt or a click detector into it. Head over to your GUI and insert a local script into the frame, then get to coding. We first create variables for the part, to which we parented the proximity prompt, and the frame. Triggering the proximity prompt starts a function, which simply makes the frame visible. Using a click detector instead is pretty much the same, with the only difference being, well, the click detector, but also its script signal. For touch, we do it very similarly. We don't need any additional object though, we can simply detect when the part has been touched. And that's it. I hope this brief tutorial serves you well, and as always, see you all soon again.